first up is how often do you recommend reaching out and staying in touch with past clients and or sphere of influence? So I like the 90 day once a quarter as the right amount of, of touch point there. I just think that works uh, really, really well. And again, it's the power in that and what makes it low hanging fruit is the consistency and nothing's better than a face-to-face -face meeting. I'm telling you, nothing's better than a face-to-face -face quick coffee. You, I read a book recently, um, about relationships. Uh, never eat lunch alone. That's it. Never eat lunch alone is the title of this book. And it was all about building your network. You never eat alone, period. And think of it like that with the SOI um, is that you always want to have coffee. You always want to have that stuff scheduled. You want your agents to have that stuff scheduled. They've got to ingrain that habit and that will pay off in big dividends. Let me piggyback off that a little bit. That was Pear's question. Okay. Um, when talking about past clients versus sphere, past clients, we have the raving fan club. So then we have those five different type of touch points that we're doing often. So the first one is the viral videos. So you do two monthly videos, you know, they'll help you come up with the topics and you send it to your past clients and SOI. So that's 24 touches in one year. Then you do some type of monthly direct mail. So you've got either newsletter, postcards, um, actual letters, whatever it is, but it needs to be 12 direct touches with 12 touches with direct mail. Then you've got your market snapshot that goes out 12 touches. So that's once a month as well. And then you've got your two giveaways, which we do the chocolates and the Thanksgiving pies and then the client events. So two client events and there's calls around those last two, the client events and the giveaways. So you're doing 60 touches in one year. So that's with past clients. You can have some of your sphere, of course, in the raving fan club, but that's kind of the, the past client piece versus the, the 50 that Kyle was talking about as the SOI. Yep. Thank you for that clarification.